Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be an updated beauty room tour and a small closet tour. I did this video two years ago, but I redid some of the decoration here, rearranged a little bit. It's not all that different, but I do like it better. So I thought I would do an updated version. I am really lucky to have this space. I really, really am, and I really enjoy it. I can get ready and kind of have all my clothes and makeup and all of that in here. I really enjoy this space and I'm very fortunate to have it. I do have a separate makeup collection and storage video. So if you want to see that, I will link that in the description box. That really has not changed at all, except for a little bit on top of my vanity, which I will show you that. But if you wanna see what's inside all the drawers and things like that, check out my makeup and collection storage video. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you around this room, show you my closet, and let's get into it. Alrighty, here is the view from the door. So I'm gonna start to the left and go around the room. My vanity is here on this side, that chair over there. That is usually where I film now. And that's kind of the recent background that I've had. Right in front of the window, there is usually a black little table, but that is currently holding my camera. So that is not there. And then we've got this corner there, then the dresser, and then the closet will be last that is on the right hand side. First thing on the left is my jewelry. And so this whole jewelry chest, that is from Home Goods. And I do have a whole jewelry collection video. I've been thinking about updating it actually. And then on top of that is a jewelry box that is from Hobby Lobby. This little ring holder, I have my most worn rings, including my wedding ring there and a couple of my other favorites and some earring backs. I have had this little tiny ring holder since I was a kid. I kid you not, I think I was maybe seven or eight when my parents gave this to me and I still have it. Here's the view of my vanity. As I mentioned, I have a separate makeup collection and storage video. I'll link that in the description box if you wanna see what's in all the drawers. That really has not changed. I do have the Ikea five drawers and the Linman tabletop, which a lot of people have, but honestly, I really like it. And something I have been thinking about over time is decreasing the size of my makeup collection. But if I were to do that, I would still keep this because I love having a large space when getting ready. It seriously makes getting ready so quickly for me. I just absolutely love it. On over here, I keep the palettes that are currently in Project Pans or that are in my shop, my stash. The little wooden box is usual, like everyday stuff. Mascara, foundation, some tissues, face sprays, moisturizer. And then on the right, I have two different um, containers for my makeup brushes. I recently decluttered my brushes and I cut them down by half. I used to have way more and I just wasn't using them. So I was really, really excited to decrease that and I'm much happier with that. The little silver tray that that is on um, is from Goodwill and this little wooden tray here that is from Target. All right, now we're in the corner and I will say the only thing I did take out of here, so to the right of my vanity, I usually keep my laundry basket. I took that out just so you don't have to see my pile of dirty clothes, but everything else I left the same. This corner is where I have been filming lately and I really, really like this setup. The flower paintings on the wall, well, they're not paintings, they're like photos. Those are from Home Goods. And the wooden box is something that someone gave us like a cake in and I kept it and use it for decor. The little three um, drawer, it's a tonight stand technically, that is from Home Goods. I buy a lot of stuff there, honestly. As far as small furniture, Home Goods is my go-to. This chair, I will say, I mean, it's not that aesthetically pleasing. However, it is functional because I do like to film in it. And also, um, it's where I keep my handbag that I'm using at the time. So usually that's what's sitting in the chair. And then when I film, I just move the handbag out of the way. This room does have this one window, but there's a bunch of bushes in front of it. So it's really not great for natural lighting. It is what it is. But yeah, that is why I do have to use studio lights because that is the only window in this room. Um, but I do like it. It's nice. It's just, you know, it doesn't get a ton of sunlight anyway. All right, and when we're in the other corner and this one I actually think is really cute. Um, I may start using this as a filming background also because I did just get this little piece here, which is also I think technically a nightstand from Home Goods. This is new. I just got it. And on top of that, I have a gold vase, which I got a Target and then a candle. Don't even know where that's from. And that painting up there of the person and the dogs, 
I've had that for a really long time. My mom gave it to me a long, long time ago, and I'm pretty sure that she did get that at Home Goods as well. And as far as what I keep down there, um, that underneath is a box of random technology stuff that I'm not using, and then my nail polish collection. So that is where my nail polishes are. We're getting into the clothing storage. So this is my getting ready room. All my clothes are in here. Um, it is nice to have it separate than our bedroom because if I often do get up before my husband and I don't want to wake him up getting dressed and things like that, so it is nice to have this separate space. This black dresser I've had for a very, very long time. It's from just any old furniture store. In there I have workout clothes, jeans, pajamas, things like that. The bottom drawer is actually just random stuff. It's not even clothing. I do really like this mirror on top though. That we actually, it was supposed to go for one of our bathroom vanities and we ended up never using it for that. So I just plopped it up there and I actually really, really like that. And onto this shelf. So as you will see, the closet is very, very small. And so that's why I got this shelf for some extra storage for my clothes and accessories. This is two shoe racks that I bought at Target. I will link these in the description box. It's actually really nice. And so they do come with two connectors so that if you buy two of them, you can stack them on top of each other. So that is what I did. It's actually really cute and I like this a lot. On top of there, I just have three perfumes. I used to have a lot more perfumes out in my room, but I felt like it looked really cluttered. So I actually stored my other perfumes in a drawer in my vanity, just because I felt like it was a little bit messy looking. I do just wanna mention this perfume because I got this as a Christmas gift to myself. It is the Baccarat Rouge 540. It's the most expensive perfume I've ever bought, but I love this scent so much. I don't even wanna use my other perfumes, which is really, really sad. I am just really, really in love with this fragrance. So yeah, part of it is honestly, I haven't even been wearing my other perfumes very much because this is so amazing. Gucci boxes I kept because honestly, this green pattern on them is so, so beautiful. But also when I do buy luxury things, which I don't have that many of, I do keep the boxes and the dust bags because if you do wanna sell them later, you do have a higher resale value. So. That's part of the reason that I kept them, but I thought that the color and design was really pretty, so I just put them up there for decor. The shelf itself, I'm not 100% satisfied with this setup. Um, it is very functional because these are my most worn clothes and a lot of like, you know, comfy sweatshirts, stuff like that that I wear all the time, sweaters, pants. It's very functional. I do feel like it looks slightly messy. This is probably one of the few things I'm not totally in love with. And then the bottom three shelves are handbags and shoes. So it's a really functional piece for me because I do use this stuff all the time. So it's not just like sitting there and getting dusty, but I don't know. I do feel like this is a little bit messy. So we'll see if maybe I rearrange this at some point. But yeah, the problem is, is as you'll see my closet, it's it's pretty small, so there just isn't that much room to store clothes and things like that. Alrighty, and last up is the closet. It's pretty small, as you can tell, but honestly, I really, really like it, and I tried to maximize the space. So up there, I have shoe racks that I have placed. Up at the very top are really thick sweaters that I'm just not gonna be wearing anymore. They're very seasonal, so I would only wear those in the winter, so since it's not that cold anymore, I just shoved them up there. I don't really have enough clothes that I need to store my out of season clothes elsewhere. I just don't have that many things that are purely for one season, but those sweaters are pretty thick, so I won't be wearing those. In the red basket at the very top, I have pretty much shoes that I only wear to the beach, so that's why those are up there. And then we have handbags across there in dust bags. So I put this little shelf here to put some more shoes and to the left of that, I do have my most worn necklaces separated by gold and silver. I put a little decor because I had the space, you know, I saved, again, I'm saving the Chanel boxes more just in case I ever wanna resell the items because of the resale value. Um, and then here are, you know, shirts, a couple dresses. These are organized kind of by like what the style of items. So in here I have like flowy floral prints. The two velvety shirts are together. Here are the button up shirts. Over here I have some blazers. 
This is like my most worn item. I use this. I wear this when I'm working out and also walking my dog. So that's why it's right there. Very, very easy. I do like that there are these little hooks in the closet. That is really helpful. Those were already there when we moved in, so I just kept them there. Clothes there, another handbag that didn't really fit over there. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to rearrange kind of the whole handbag storage. We'll see how that goes. That may change over time. And I do plan on doing an updated handbag collection video. I did that two years ago on my channel and my handbag collection is completely different from what it was then because I just don't like the same type of bags. I much prefer smaller bags now where I used to carry a lot of larger bags. These two plastic drawer systems, honestly, they're definitely not visually appealing, but they are convenient for storing, you know, socks, underwear, that's what it's in there. I have one that's tank tops, one that's t-shirts. Um, one that is swimwear and like some random winter hats, you know, seasonal stuff like that. They're not the most visually appealing things, but they are useful. So I figure shoved in my closet, at least I'm not like really looking at them. I did used to have them out in the room and I really didn't like the way that looked, but shoved in the closet, I am perfectly okay with that. And to the right of them, there is a space that I measured right here. It is exactly nine inches. Um, I've wanted to find a shelf, but it's hard to find something quite that narrow. I think that would really help me with the shoe storage and the handbag storage. So that would be right down here because I do have that empty space there. Um, sitting there on top of a shoe box is this Sephora bag where I keep my monthly empties. So yeah, at the end of the month, I'll fill my empties and then empty this out. And then I'm, I do save all my makeup empties, but I don't save the skincare stuff that I just recycle. Alrighty, that is it for the room. We're back at the beginning. Yeah, I really, really like it. I love having this space. I just, you know, I'm so lucky to have it, to be able to have my things. And it's just nice to kind of have a little space to get ready. It really does making get ready in the morning quite easy and fast just because everything is here and all of that. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, if you want to see the makeup collection part, check that video out. Like I said, I have the jewelry collection and the handbag collection videos from two years ago, but I think I am going to update those. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.